10,000 miles from its headquarters in Detroit on a remote test track in Australia, General Motors finds itself on the brink of its next big success or failure. On this desolate circuit, half a world away from Motown, one legend of the American auto landscape is just arriving to meet another. Hey, Dale, how are you? Doug Goulahan, Chief Engineer. Good to meet you. NASCAR giant Dale Earnhardt Jr. is here to test the all-new, still-secret, heavily camouflaged Chevy Camaro. Be a Camaro man, I want your impressions here. You got it, buddy. General Motors has asked Earnhardt to put the prototype through its paces in a place usually shielded from cameras. But this time, GM has invited CNBC to ride along. It's got to be kind of a kick to finally get a chance to, to tool around in this. It's really neat. I've never been in this phase of the production to where we're driving a car or under camo. The new Camaro, set to debut as a 2010 model, is a critical redesign for a company badly in need of hits. The steering feels good. It has a lot of body roll. Yeah. A little bit of body roll. It's not real necessary. If Earnhardt, one of Chevy's most important NASCAR drivers, can lend some of his luster to the new Camaro, it could help supercharge the car's relaunch. I feel like that's really what Chevy has brought me in here to do. They really want a good, honest opinion. Um, they obviously will build the car how they want to build it, but they are smart enough to know that they can open their ears to some trusted voices and uh, hear some good input and insight that they can make a great, great product and a better product. Automakers rarely allow the public to see what goes on behind the scenes, but GM gave CNBC exclusive access to the Camaro's journey from the design lab here in Melbourne to sub-zero testing in northern Canada to extended drives across Europe. A lot is riding on the new Camaro. No one knows that more than the man steering its return, GM's chief designer, Ed Welber. How critical is it for GM as a whole that it be a hit? Because it's a vehicle that there's been so much written about and, and so many images shown worldwide, I mean, it's, it is very important that we follow through with a great vehicle. Welburn has a love affair with cars that began in his father's Philadelphia body shop. That passion drove him to General Motors, where after 36 years, he is the highest ranking African American in the auto industry. His fondness for Camaros began with the 1969 coupe, which remains a favorite in his personal collection. It just seems to grow over time, you know, that affinity for the car. There's somebody I mean, honking yeah, at you. <laughs> Yeah, wherever I go, you know, and I have crank windows, so I have to have that window down. There's always someone that pulls up that wants to ask about the car. They want to talk about it. <laughs> they just see the car, and it's just something about it. It just, they have this emotional reaction to it. Does going somewhere on a Camaro make you feel like it's more fun getting there? Against a backdrop of cultural upheaval, Camaro sold a promise of freedom, power, speed and youth Camaro fiery new creation from Chevrolet in 1967 it was a powerful message but not an original one Ford's Mustang got there in 1964 it took GM almost three years to answer with the Camaro the cars have been natural rivals ever since both were immediate successes, yet both eventually slid in popularity. Now they're back, but once again, the Camaro trails the new Mustang by several years. Even Chrysler, with its all-new Dodge Challenger, has beaten GM to the latest pony car war. Did you wait too long to bring the Camaro back? You know, we would have liked to have brought it sooner, but, you know, you, the car's got to be right. You know, I think the development process was, was really quick, but... You know, you got to make sure the quality's in the vehicle. The four pack was one Determined way to create a Camaro people really want, Welburn and his designers drafted a classic muscle car interior with special touches like a four pack of gauges. But building a car that inspires passion inspired passionate debate and sparks flew. If people start entertaining big surface changes, we are going to be in big trouble. The first argument was whether to give the Camaro a modern or a retro look. They had a car that looked just like a 68 Camaro. I said, yeah, it is a Camaro. 
but I wanted more. I just wanted the car to have more tension, more gesture in the design. It needed to be more contemporary. With a contemporary design locked in, GM engineers locked horns over the height of Camaro's roof. It's 58.3 inches tall. Designers kept pushing to lower it and give Camaro a more aggressive look. But engineers at GM Australia had to meet structural requirements and fought back in heated arguments. Tom would turn around and say on a conference call or send me an email and said, oh, can we actually get the roof down just a few millimeters? It was like, no, Tom, it's over. <laughs> After hundreds of disagreements, thousands of hours, and tens of millions of dollars, it was time for the next essential step in the process, the road test. This thing is holding its own. Feels good. It's got a lot of power. Doug Houlihan and Gene Stefanician are two of GM's top engineers. It is now up to them to decide what's right and wrong with GM's latest investment. What do you think about the acceleration on this? Uh, on the V8, uh, I think we can do a bit better. Uh, I don't think we have all the shifts in place yet. There are some things that only 1,300 miles behind the wheel can reveal, and the devil is in the details. That's the turn signal? That's the turn signal right now, but it won't be the turn signal tomorrow. <laughs> Sometimes the whole process winds up stuck in the ditch. Huh? What happened? Ah, Vaughn just uh, took it a bit wide. Got in the ditch a bit. Here's the moment we've been waiting for. When GM unveiled the Camaro concept car in 2006, it made a huge splash, just like its predecessor four decades earlier. But concept cars mean nothing if the production version doesn't sell. And as engineers prepare to strip the camouflage and move the Camaro from the show floor to the show room, all eyes will be on General Motors, and Ed Welburn knows it. How confident are you that this is going to be a hit? Well, I, I, I'm very confident from a design perspective. The design is right. It's very strong. It, it is the right design. But, you know, this is such a changing market. I mean, it's hard to predict everything.